Hello and welcome back to Jake Teaches Uke, the better Jake on YouTube. I'm of course referring to Jake Paul. Is that meme still relevant? Is it a dead meme? It's dead. Nobody's over there. I am back once again to teach you a new song by another Jake, Jake Shimabokuro's Dragon. Instead of playing it how it's composed, because it loops a couple times, I'm just gonna play through each section straightforward and teach it to you that way. To begin, place your middle finger on the 6th fret C string and your ring finger on the A string 7th fret. And you're going to play this pattern with your thumb, index, and middle finger. Your thumb's going to play the top two strings, index on the E string, middle on the A string. And you're just going to loop that pattern. Now once you play the A string with your middle finger four times, you're going to drop to the fifth fret A string with your index finger. C is still held down on the sixth fret. So from here. And then it's going to drop, once you play the A string four times on the fifth fret, it's going to drop back to the fourth fret. You're going to do the same thing. And then once you play the A string four times on the fourth fret, you're going to do what the music majors call a, a retardando. Actually, I don't know how to pronounce it. Retardando. Right. So you're just going to slow down. And you want to strike the E string last before you move all the way back to the second fret. So here's the first part in its entirety. Switch. Switch. Slow down. Pluck the E string last. Move back. Now from here, you're going to place your middle finger, second fret, C string, ring finger, 2nd fret, A string. Same pattern with the right hand. And you're only going to play through it twice before your index finger holds down the 1st fret C string. So it's... And then you're going to strum through after you play it probably once, after you play that pattern once, you're going to strum through with your thumb still holding down that same pattern. That's still... yeah. Then you're gonna pluck off with your ring finger on the A string. Just pluck off from there. So, once you get back here, this is how it goes. Switch. Strum. Pluck. So let's play what we know so far. 
switch. Switch. Slow down. Switch. Then from there, you're going to pluck an open E string. Then second fret is held down by the index finger. Now you're going to hold down the last two strings, the E and the A string on the second fret with your index finger. Pluck the E string again, so it's just... Next, you're going to strum through, you're going to place your ring finger on the fourth fret C string and strum through with your thumb. Then you're going to play a slowed down version of the pattern you already know. And you're going to stop once you hit once you strike with your thumb for the second time. Then you're going to strum through again, but this time your ring finger is going to be taken off and the only thing that's being held down is the second fret, E and A string. And you're going to strum through. So the same pattern, but instead of stopping on the G string, you're stopping on the A. You're going to do that twice. So it's That's the intro. Now this is where the fun finger plucking stuff comes in. So you already know the right uh, fingering for the first part of this. The index finger on the second fret, E and A string, C string held down fourth fret, ring finger. Strum through with your thumb, pluck the G string with your thumb. So just... Now this is where you pluck with your index finger on the A string and you do a hammer on fifth fret with your pinky so it's now <laughs> from there your index finger is going to come up to the seventh fret and strike the seventh fret just like this Make sure you hit it hard enough where you get a sound uh, to come out of it. So from strumming through with your thumb. If you need it slowed down. Now, once your finger's held down right there, you're going to pluck off of it with your index finger. Next, your pinky is going to pluck off the 5th fret, just like that. So here's from strumming through with your thumb. After you strum off with your pinky, your thumb is going to play the G string twice. From there, your index finger is going to strike again on the, I believe, 10th fret. Pluck, 10th fret. Strike the 9th fret, A string. Pluck again. So it's... Now when you move up to the 10th fret, your pinky is supposed to go down on the 5th fret as well. So after you pluck it off, play the two Gs, and then you come up here, just hold that down, hold that back down again. I'll play through it slowly. You see, when I went up here, my pinky came down as well. Yeah, so that's how that's how that pattern ends, is your thumb plucks the G string again, then you come up with your index finger, then your thumb plucks the 
top string or top two strings, whatever you want to do. Then you start the pattern over. Pluck up, pluck, strum through with your thumb, and that's that's how you loop it. Alright, I'll play it again real slow. Now notice whenever I start the pattern over, I'm taking my pinky off of the 5th fret so it can hammer back on. So watch closely. You're going to do that pattern twice with that same fingering, then to, when you play it the third and fourth time, the only thing that changes is your ring finger comes off, so you're only holding down these two. Once you play it through twice, you're going to bar the second fret and play the same pattern two more times. Then you're going to come back to the first fingering with your ring finger holding down on the fourth fret, these two held down on the second fret. You're going to play the first part of the pattern. When you, whenever you strike that last G with your thumb, you're going to move back and bar the 2nd fret. Play the beginning of that pattern. Then you're going to move back to the 1st fingering. So in its entirety, that last part is this. Now once you come back to this for the 2nd time, you're going to play through the entire pattern. So here's that last part. Then to end, you're going to put your pinky finger on the 6th fret A string. The E string is held down on the 3rd fret with your index finger. So let's take that whole pattern slowly. Now for the jam out part, with that last fingering I showed you, pinky up here, 3rd fret E string, strum through with your thumb, then you're going to pluck the G string open, then you're going to do an upstroke with your index finger, but whenever you do that upstroke you're going to move back to the 5th fret A string with your ring finger, just like that then up, down, up. After the up, down, up, you're going to move all the way up to the 12th fret E string, 10th fret A string. Just like that. And you're going to want to accent the last two strings. You're going to do the same thing where you strum through with your thumb, Pluck G, upstroke, but you're going to move back with the upstroke. You're going to move back to the 10th fret, 
E string, 9th fret, A string. Just like this. So what I did there is strum through, G string, move back, upstroke with the index finger, G string, upstroke again. But whenever you upstroke again, you're going to move back to the 7th fret, E string, 5th fret, A string with your middle and index finger. Watch my right hand. Then you're gonna, immediately after that upstroke, you're gonna do it again, but it's gonna be open. Just for a second. And then you're gonna come back and bar the second fret and jam out for two, two measures. That's how the pattern goes. I'll play it slow. You're going to play through that twice. Now once you play through it twice, it's going to change. You're going to start the same. But instead of going all the way up here, you're just going to be on the 2nd and 3rd fret, 2nd fret A string, 3rd fret E string with your middle and index. And it's going to jump, it's just going to go up. So it's going to go up to the 5th and 7th fret, then the 10th and 12th fret. And that's when those notes are supposed to be played. So let's take that slow, that third pattern. Now from here is what I have trouble with. It's a weird fingering. You're going to be on the 7th fret with your index finger on the G string. Also on the 7th fret, E string with your middle finger, just like that. Now your ring finger is going to be playing, is going to be on the 9th fret. C string, then your pinky on the 9th fret as well, A string. Just like that. After you come up to the 10th and 12th fret. And I as well need to work on that transition from this to this. So I'll show you how it's supposed to be played in that pattern. You're only going to play that for one stroke. Then you're going to come back, bar the fourth fret, and if your middle finger can bend this way, hold down the E and the A strings on the fifth fret. Then your ring finger is going to hold down the C string, 6th fret. And you're going to jam out here for another two measures. So let's try and take that last pattern slowly. Now once you play through that pattern once, you're going to start in the same way as the other two, up, down, up, but instead of, instead of uh, the A string being held down on the 2nd fret, it's going to be held down on the 3rd fret with your, ring, with your middle finger, and then the E string is held down on the 2nd fret with your index. change from here to just holding down the 2nd fret 
the last two strings on the second fret with your index finger. You're going to strum just like this. Thumb through, G, up stroke, switch, up, down, up, thumb through, G, up stroke, up, down, up. So it's just the same pattern twice. Just like that. Now from holding down the last two strings with your index finger, you're going to bar the second fret, place your ring finger on the C string fourth fret, thumb through, then you're going to do the pattern we learned at the beginning. So thumb, thumb, index, middle, thumb. So once you get to the second thumb, right there, you're just going to move down a fret on the C string. So it's being held down on the third fret with your middle finger, second fret is barred. you're going to stop on your middle finger. So that last part is... Now let's try and take the jam out section together slowly. Now after you stop right here, you just go back to the first fingering right here and you do the finger plucking pattern. Now I am not going to teach you how to do this part because I have not learned it myself. But to end the song, you go back to the same finger plucking pattern. And you play it as many times as you want, but then add another retardando to it. And then what I like to do is come up all the way to the 12th fret and lightly put your fingers over the fret going into the 13th fret and you just strum through. So the end is like this. Thank you so much for watching. I have another video coming very soon, so stick around and subscribe if you want to.